Okay, so. Dude, what the fuck is this? That is freaking weird, whatever it is, man. But it's not letting me select it. See? Stickers. Let me go to the instruments. There's a lot of different musical instruments lined up here. I know about guitars and drums, but there are also instruments and machines I've never seen before. But they don't look like they pertain to the case. Okay. Uh, what's behind him? What is this? A full-length mirror. You can see her whole body in this huge full-length mirror. It probably is used for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it'd be easy to check how you look. Okay. That's just the monitor. And I guess him, right? Nagato, did you come here to investigate the storage room? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it, or is he trying to stand guard hey. here? How about it? Did you find any clues? The tipped over step letter on the stage, the duct tape binding Kyoko? That probably all came from the storage room. There might be other things for the storage room that they use for the crime. They always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just going to be on the killer's side, right? <laughs> I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is to what? it. That's the main reason why this case is really special. Huh? Man. I can't stay for certain, though. What is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. Huh. Alright. That's it. So the one real clue we got is that there was wallpaper with stickers stuck all over it, but it looks like it was torn off of the wall. Okay. Where could wallpaper have been torn off of a wall? Huh. I don't know, I don't see that. Anyway. Alright, let's look at everything. Here's a broken machine. The shattered remains of a machine are spread all over the floor. I see. It appears I to be see. the surveillance camera this unit. This, too, must be the will of yep. causality. Kaizuchi put it in the music venue for communication. Why is it destroyed? Oh. Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here? So what do you mean? Well? Even if they know they are not being recorded, there's no way the killer could tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. <clears throat> Fine. So that's why they destroyed the camera. Seems plausible enough. They hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera. That's why the killer destroyed this. And what was that thing I saw? Right. How did he see a video thing was destroyed already? Oh, wait a minute. Look. Look, 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 look. The pillar right here. It's the pillar. The pillar had that wallpaper on it. And it looks like it got torn off. See that? But they're not letting me select the pillar to investigate. The wallpaper. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that sucks. They won't even let me look at the body. I just okay. I just zoom into the stage. I see. What is this here? The hemp bag. Rookie had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. But why did she have a hemp bag on her head? Maybe she liked the smell. Wait, huh? Hmm. Upon further inspection, there's a monomy decal on the fabric of the bag. Looks like this isn't a normal bag. Huh. Ibuki had a handbag on her head while she was hanging from the ceiling. I don't know why the killer covered Ibuki's face with that bag. Alright. Can I investigate just the body? The body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Huh? What's this on Ibuki's feet? Blood. I didn't notice it when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? That means Hiyoko died before Ibuki, and Ibuki walked through the blood that squirted out of Hiyoko's neck. So we're starting to get at least a time frame and order of events in place here. But there shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki. If that's the case, this blood belongs to someone else. Right, it's Hiyoko's. Okay. Damn right. Hey, Ajime, can I talk to you for a sec? You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah, and at first, I don't know if it was Ibuki because of that hemp bag, though. Right. I knew right away she was dead because she was hanging from the rope. Like... Which means Ibuki must have died before Hiyoko was tied up. Yeah. That helps. There's no time of death written on the Monokuma file this time. So I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true, there actually made a time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file, but I should know when Ibuki died because I personally saw it. 
In that video, Boogie was climbing the stepladder on her own, so right after that... Wait, hold on. If Boogie climbed the stepladder and died right after, does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. Because even if Boogie committed suicide, it doesn't explain Hyoko's death afterward. <clears throat> Two different deaths happened at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. No, it's bullshit. No, 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 no. She, she has the blood on the soles of her feet. He also didn't see her die. He didn't see her get fall off the ladder and snap her neck. So it doesn't mean that's what happened. It could have gone off, then she went and killed Hyoko, walked through the blood, and then did it. It could have been, she didn't do it at all. It's not a suicide, right? It could be that, so you know, she was being forced to do it. She didn't know what was going on she had a bag on her head. And then someone eventually killed her. It could be a million things. It could really be a million things. Okay. But anyway, what else do we got here? Ah, the noose. Yeah, see, the, the wallpaper came from here. You can see it's missing. It's the rope that was tied to the baton lighting on the ceiling. Boogie hanged herself with the rope and died. From what I could tell, it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact this music venue was a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. Which means, was it obtained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there? That means anyone could have obtained the rope, and it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> I wonder if that's true, huh? I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey! Excuse me, Mikan, do you have a moment? Um, um what's happened? Um, There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by the rope, right? Well, yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see. I see, so Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. As usual, I have no idea what he's up to. Okay. But you know what you know what I'm thinking? I've been thinking about this this whole time with Ibuki, right? Ibuki had that disease, and if you remember, her despair disease was that she was incredibly gullible. She would do whatever she was told or believe whatever she was told. So in this case, if someone told her, oh, if you go hang yourself, you'll, you know, you'll be fine, and she did it. That would mean that, that they committed the murder, not her, because it wasn't suicide, because she was believing what they told her, and they knew she was sick with the gullible disease, therefore they would be the true murderer, not her. Therefore, I don't think she committed suicide, I think someone told her to hang herself, and she did it! Oh my god. Holy fuck. Alright. <laughs> this is all fucking conjecture, by the way. And by the way, I'm now that I'm thinking about uh, some other- I haven't gotten over here yet. I was thinking about this, and I was like, I swear there was a bag with, with Monami's face on it. At the very beginning of the game, when they all arrived on the beach, before Monokuma even showed up, didn't Monami give them all a bag as a present? And they all said, oh, this bag sucks, and they threw it away. So this is someone's bag for the beginning of the game. But I don't remember... I don't remember if anyone kept it. I think they almost all of them threw it away, didn't they? Did someone keep the bag? I don't know, here's what we'll do. I'll trace all the dialogue from chapter 3 all the way back down to chapter 0 until we get to it. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but I swear, I absolutely swear, most of them got rid of their bags, but maybe one person kept it. But I can't remember. Alright. Let's keep looking. What is this, a candle? That was the candle that was creating the lighting for the video. Yeah, there's a massive candle position near the front of the stage. The dull light in that video must have been coming from this candle. A candle is huge, but it'd be perfect for lighting, but... Uh, they didn't need to bother using a candle, they could have just used the normal stage lighting. Candle has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. What is this? This is the stepladder, right? <clears throat> The stepladder is tipped over on its side. This must be the stepladder that Ibuki used in the video that I saw. Ah, isn't that a blood stain? Yeah, look, see? There's blood on the ladder. That definitely means that Hiyoko died before she killed she committed suicide or was told to commit suicide. As I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries, so if that's the case, it's Hiyoko's blood. That's the only thing I could think of. A bloodstain that probably belongs to Hyoko is on the left side of the stepladder. What does it mean? What does it mean? Double rainbow. Here we go. Double rain. Oh. 
curtain. All right, hold on. 